Well, it seems to be a unidirectional tire. It doesn't have an inside outside. So I'm going to put the dot, the yellow dot, over by the valve. Put this on. Have it looped up. Get it most of the way on, but I am going to have to use the. Apparently, I'm supposed to use the other end of the bar now to get this on. Now I'm supposed to be able to put this on and run it around. filming that, I was able to get it on just by pushing down, almost inverting the tyre, just by hand without using the bar. And I could get some more soap, so it took a while, so the soap's dried up. Okay, so I could not figure out how to use that tool. Um, you can't get the twisting leverage you need on it to uh, be able to do what they say you can do. So I ended up using my old motorbike tire tools. I'm just working my way around, jamming one in on this side, like this one. Getting my knee up on here, pushing it down into the rim. Where it drops and then popping it on that way on these. So, which I like to throw these away. And I don't have a fancy air compressor. So I'm going to see if I can pump it up with this tiny little tire thing. Thank you. PSI, make sure it's the seat. And then it's just pump, 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 pump. See you in about half an hour. Well, the flip side of the tire just popped up on the bead. The tire actually jumped a little. So, got a little bit more over the far side there. There it goes. Pop. Right about just under 20 psi. Alright, got to get it up to 35. Actually, I do have a power pump. I didn't want to pump it from zero all the way up, so I got it up to 30, and now I'm pumping it to the 37. Okay, so according to the bubble balancer, it doesn't seem to matter whether I have a balance weight on or not. Put it on 